Christine Richard Southern joins us from the 680 News Business Center. Christina, Richard. You, before we go any further, it's just so nice to have you back on the air. We're so glad you're healthy. Oh, thank you so much, Richard. It's and, so nice to actually be talking to you again. No, it's it's great, and and uh, you know I think I speak for a lot of people when it's been so great to to watch your your, your story. I mean, you've been having it on every day. The, your, your process of going through your kidney transplant. It's been a real eye opener for me because I didn't know I didn't know anything about that stuff. So thanks for opening up your your whole journey to us. It's been wild. Very well, interesting. Thank you very much. I'm glad to share my story, but also I want to point out that the day of my transplant was actually the same day that the Raptors won the championship. Get out of here. And it, true story. So it is, <laughs> and it's amazing what a championship can do. You, you were celebrating for a different reason, <laughs> a much was. better reason actually. But yeah, the Raptors, they had a great year, but they lost Kawhi. Question is, is it going to be easier to get tickets this year? Christina, the answer, no, not according to StubHub. This is the resale site. Uh, they said that demand is still very hot for the Raptors. In fact, they're the eighth most in demand team on StubHub right now. Uh, fans particularly are after the opening game on October 22nd. Cheapest get-in price for that, Christina, 217 bucks for standing room. 5000 if you want to sit courtside. Fans also are after the December 11th game. That's when Kawhi returns to Toronto. Uh, 3800 to sit courtside for that. So uh, paying top dollar to see those Raptors, Christina. That is a bit rich for my blood, at least the December 11th, uh, I guess, game for sure. Now, it's been almost a full year since recreational pot was legalized, and it appears prices are actually starting to fall. They are. So uh, costing less green to buy the green. The average cost of a legal gram of cannabis down 4% in the third quarter to $10.23. However, the black market still very much a bargain. Illicit weed falling almost 6% to $5.95. So it costs about five bucks less per gram to buy the illegal stuff. And this has allowed the black market to flourish. 42% of cannabis users, Christina, say they buy at least some of uh, their cannabis from the illegal black market. That's interesting, that is. Now, Apple reportedly getting ready set for another big product announcement. This is interesting. A top analyst who has been right about a lot of Apple uh, stories in the past, he says the company is ready to start selling augmented reality glasses. He says they could be out in the first three months of next year, and the company could even announce it as early as later this month. So these AR glasses would overlay information on the real world that you're looking at. It would connect to the phone. The phone would do all the processing. So for instance, you may see your, your email or iMessages come up in the glasses. They would be lightweight because there's not a lot of computing power uh, in them. Apple CEO Tim Cook has previously talked about how he loves AR, saying that one day it'll be as essential as three meals per day. So we could see every not only with those AirPods in their ears, Christina, but with Apple glasses uh, over their eyes as well. That would be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Before we go, Richard, you've got a quick look at gas prices and some of the other stories you'll be bringing us later on the show. Gas going up a penny tonight here in the GTA. And boy, you're going to want to hang in for this, or will you? I'm going to be taking what they call a sound bath on the air just after 6.30. Christina, great to see you again. Great to see you. See you later in the show. Thank you very much, Richard. Thanks.